Let's have a look at question C in this video. So we have again the rank score, so we'll have a test with ranks for the 67 skiers. So we got the data and then we want to perform a non-parametric test based on the rank scores to see whether the times on the first run are significantly higher than the times on the second run. So which test are we going to use? Hypothesis and conclusion. Okay, so what are we doing right now? We're doing a non-parametric test. What kind of non-parametric test? We've matched pairs because we have 67 skiers who have one run and then a second run. So that's a matched pairs non-parametric test. But we also have one more thing that it has to have ranks. So it's a test with ranks. Because we're using ranks, we are going to use a Wilcoxon test. And now the question is, what kind of Wilcoxon test? Rank sum? or signed rank test. And we use the second one. When it comes to matched pairs ranks, we're using Wilcoxon signed rank test. And I highlighted the difference between them in two videos ago where I, uh, where I highlighted the overall non-parametric test. So have a look there as well. Um, okay, so we're going to use this test. What is the intuition of this test? If we have the same distributions in the first run and in the second run, we expect to have a similar sum of positive and negative ranks because sometimes, so let me better write so that we can keep track better. Uh, sometimes we will have some observations in the first run that are higher. Sometimes observations in the first run are higher. And then other times observations, other times observations in the second run are higher. Which means that the ranks of the differences between them is gonna be mixed. In some cases there's gonna be higher ranks and lower case and, and lower ranks, and in the other in the other cases where the second ranks are higher, we also will have a mix of higher ranks and lower ranks. So because the two are gonna be mixed they will have a similar value. So the sum of positive ranks and negative ranks should be similar. Of course, under the hypothesis, we say that they are equal, but in statistics, again, it's about estimation. We want to see whether they are similar or not. But how do we actually test that? We test that by looking at the, at the sum of positive ranks. So we just take the sum of positive ranks and let me explain why. We are taking the difference. So let me write the formula I'm going to I'm going to explain along the way. We are calculating the difference between the positive ranks in our sample and the expectation that we have, which is the mean of the population of positive ranks. Basically, how many positive, what is the sum of the positive ranks if we would have no difference between the two distributions divided by the standard error? Now, once again, what is the mean? The mean is the expected value. So if we would have, if we would have the same distributions in the first run and in the second run, the differences between them would follow a normal distribution because there would be an even proportion. There would be an even proportion of differences. In some cases, there would be differences that are higher in the first run. In some cases, there will be differences that are higher in the second run. But on average, the differences between them should be zero. So that should follow a standard normal distribution with the mean zero. The difference between these two should be zero on average. If indeed, if indeed that would hold true, if indeed we would have the same uh, sum of positive ranks and negative ranks. But now look, if, if this thing significantly differs from that, so if our observation is gonna deviate by several standard deviations away, let's say maybe it's gonna be somewhere over here. Well, in that case, it could be that this is not just by chance. So this difference did not happen by chance, but it happened because we have a tendency to have more positive ranks. And if we have more positive ranks, it's a claim that we have values in the first distribution that are higher than the values in the second distribution, since the higher values are also going to have higher ranks in the differences. I hope this makes sense. So let's actually see what the z value is going to give us. 
the the sum of positive ranks in the sample it's over here the sum of ranks 1847.50 minus what is the expected value what is the value in the population that we expect to have well we can calculate it under the st standard normal distribution the mean of this value the population average of this uh, positive rank sum would be n times n plus 1 divided by 4 which is 67 times 67 plus 1 divided by 4 and that would be equal to 1139 1139 and we can see that indeed we have some intuition going on that this value is higher than that value so we want to see whether that's a significant difference now what would be what would be sigma what would be the standard error well the standard error would be the square root of n times n plus 1 multiplied with 2 n plus 1 divided by 24 and let me just save the time if we if we do all this math over here that would be 67 68 and 135 over 24 equals to 160.806 now let's just plug them real quick here and do the math divided by 160.086 the value the z value would be equal to the z value just a second would be equal to 4.43 4.43 and well we don't even need to compare with a critical value we just see that it's so ridiculously high it's not even in the distribution so obviously the probability the p-value that this happened by chance is really low so probability of this happening just by chance is really low it's almost zero so that means it did not happen by chance but it's because this difference between them is significant the difference between the two is significant so that means we have enough evidence to say that we have significantly more positive ranks so the sum of positive ranks is higher so the values in the first distribution are higher than the second r1 values are significantly higher than the values of the run to signi let me just write short significantly higher than r2 Hope this makes sense and we are done.